Yeah, I'm uh, recording now, so it's picking you all up as well, so I can send you the video file if you want, and clip this little part out. Okay, it should be working now. Uh, so, um, the point of the class is to um, introduce you to war industry and stuff that need to be done during the war industry. Probably some tips, hints, what to do. There will be questions mark. And um, the basics of like what to build, where to build, how to build, or why to build. So, um, this is for the new bros, probably a very big topic. Um, the things that war needs uh, depend basically on what the FC is being, and it's mostly the PvP doctrines that we have. Uh, I cannot basically go here and link them in fleet because, like, spies have to make some effort, but if you go to wiki, you can find there the doctrines that are listed where they are listed. Currently, the alliance is staged in FAT 6B in the Legacy like, Dream Keepstar, which already has a market. Um, this Keepstar houses most of the doctrines, most of the capital doctrines that we have, but um, some doctrines will be staged in G. So you have to basically look on the wiki what is staged where, and it will be bought in that system when it's being for by the FC. Uh, apart from the doctrine stuff that we have, the total success thing to um, go build and will be sold is interceptors, dictators, hictors, probably mm, fighters. If we're gonna lose some fighters here, um, so if you're into T2 building, you will find the market there. If you are into simple things that need to be built, you will find a lot of demand for tackle, t basic T1 freaks. Or if you're into T2 freaks, so any tackle. Um, for the defensive ops that we have, uh, it will be toasters. Uh, for the offensive ops, it will be also toasters. We use sigils, we use nereuses, drakes. Uh, it, those are basic T1 hulls that can be produced locally here in FAT or in G and then imported here. Um, as FAT C, uh, also stocks caps, um, there will be a lot of need for ozone isotopes that you will get from ice products and then you can stock them here. You will also find some revenues on uh, the basic um, siege things like the uh, for the dreads you will need uh, strontium clotrates you will need heavy water for supers basically stuff like this will get sold every time and it's consumption thing so it will get sold um, also you will find some revenue in cap boosters which go heavily in caps mainly 30 to hundreds you will find a lot of use in ammo if it's basic frigate ammo, desi ammo, L size ammo for materials, or XL ammo for the caps that we use. Very niche little product for the staging is drugs. We use Pyrolensia mostly, so if you got the skill to produce drugs, can make you can make ton of isk building uh, pyrolancia drugs mainly the tech, uh, the level one or level two they go in hundreds during strat ups and i for fact know that some people do charge a bit more but it's drugs so like nobody will bother if it's paid like one mil for the cost and three mil for the purchase price so you can get some profit there
Um, the things that are, can be made locally, um, there is currently, I believe, Tatara that is uh, anchored and being prepared for the reprocessing. So we will be able to reprocess your ore and ice locally here. There is Sotio in system, you will be able to build locally. But you can always use the GE, which is one jump freighter jump out of here. So it's very easy to get stuff in system. Um, for the thing, uh, like importing, if you're building in GE, you can use uh, services in selectional hauling. Um, you can think if somebody has uh, some empty space in jump freighter, you can hitch a ride or pay somebody to haul a full jump freighter of stuff. You can uh, ask for Titan bridges and bridge your freighter. Uh, so it's not really difficult to move them. What you should not do is uh, taking T1 in these uh, or like basically freighters and gate because all the systems from GE to here are camped heavily and you will lose them. So it is always easier to use either capital maintenance bay for the hulls or use jump freighter. Um, things that cannot be built locally or that you want to import from the high sec, mostly doctrine fits. Uh, f what I used to do is that I buy them in Gita and basically then just contract them on public contract to Mendori. And from Mendori, I use either one of our haulers that are here in the Slack hauling channel, or you can ask with Brave Little Toaster who will import it for you for some fee at their website. So uh, there is also some fee for it, but mostly if you increase the price, you will have profit there and it will cover the cost of hauling. Uh, one problem with the <coughs> world deployment and industry is that the stuff that you put on market will be there for a long time because um, it, as it happens that sometimes uh, doctrines get changed and they then stay on the market forever and they're not sold. So if you're building, always try to build with reason, uh, not overbuilt like 200 eagles and then you will be stuck with them on single market. And the other problem that we have also sometimes is that when staging change as they did now uh, when we were in 7R5 and then we moved to 56p uh, the markets also change so you will need to move all the stuff that you put on that market and release them on the new market which can be pain in the ass but uh, it's always about stocking responsibly so not overdoing it the skills that can help you with the market stocking are basically the skills in the section of trading and then we have accounting broker uh, relations uh, day trading procurement trade retail skill uh, they either decrease the tax or the broker fees or increase the amount of contracts that you can do um, so you can do, for example, I don't know, starting with few contracts on the marketplace and then increasing by training the skills. You can dedicate your alts for being the main market trader. So you can basically train your main into whatever you want to do, like PvP ship and then have army of alts to do the market stuff for you. So then there is also the stuff that you do not have to stock markets as such with hulls or mods. You can assemble the hulls and mods into ready doctrine ship, but this ship cannot be sold on marketplace, but you have to 
advertise it on the alliance contract so you basically go and buy stuff in highsec or pro produce whatever you need let's say we'll go for feroxes then you assemble the ferox hulls by right clicking and fitting it by multiple and each of the hulls you will then right click create contract and put them on the alliance contract that way alliance people can see it and can buy it from you what we try to avoid is putting these on the public contracts because uh, with public contract uh, the thing is that everybody can see them even the enemy and what happened in previous wars that enemies were buying the doctrines they would not use them but you know if there is not no doctrine on market to reship then you have won the battle um with uh stuff like sometimes um you will find a good profits on the capital modules what we stage here uh, for example if there is a uh, carrier world you will most certainly if you list 500 and hertz you will sell them in a day so that happens mostly if something goes very wrong and then you profit but that's how the industry works um, stuff like the one capital mods uh, they can go but uh, if you're in the cap group you probably know what capitals should be fit and um, stuff like that will be easily bought in the staging areas but the main problem is as you see in local right now there is several hundred people in here and you will not be the only people relisting these people these things on marketplace so there will be a lot of people listing here there will be point one asking you and uh, the thing with the market is that you always have to be on top of your order and then to check uh, the price if you're on the first page because the way it works is that if someone clicks the order to buy it then you have to be the first in order to get the sale Any questions so far? Uh, for the blueprints, um, there is Deutsche program that has blueprints for the, the basic P1 house. Uh, they do some even, I believe, station things, but you can find most of the blueprints in the dojo program um, it will be uh, let me check if I have the link for it okay so it's LinkedIn fleet uh, this is the BPC program you will get the BPCs for free can order them they will be delivered in GE uh, for the materials uh, stuff that are on market in GE like minerals uh, they are available the question is if you will reach profit if you buy these things because sometimes mineral gets overpriced way over Jita and uh, for example if you have basic cost like I don't know Atron that goes for three hundred and fifty thousand but you buy those minerals in a system and then you find out that this hull will cost you just to make 600 million uh, 600,000 then it's not worth very much to go for it but mm, you should never be afraid to put higher number on the sell price for example mm, if you can look on the P1 industrials it's probably about 1 million to build but people list them at 3 million and they will make a profit 
as new grass and it's not terribly you know cringy to buy a 3 million d1 industrial because it's just 3 million for the richer people and it always helps the you know the new bro to get some starting capital at least building this stuff um for the uh, sourcing of minerals right now it's quite difficult because as you know ccp nerfed the ores in the low sec and in the null sec and everywhere basically so all the ores are way way more expensive than they used to be half a year ago and it's getting quite impossible to build most, mostly the big stuff but uh, if you have the time to look on the marketplace on slack in uh, brave slack channel or on legacy discord you can sometimes ask for one to buy for example want to buy asteroid or or you can find sometimes they beep that some miners will advertise want to sell or so you can sell or buy the ore there and then move it here or to system or in GE and have it reprocessed um, and after reprocessing moved and built stuff with it S uh, it is always better to buy ore than buy the minerals because the reprocessing makes um, there is a sim there is some magic happening behind it because um, if you buy for example spot you mean for I don't know 300,000 per unit then you will reprocess it and you will find out that you will ha now have minerals for I don't know 400,000 and it's the basic thing of reprocessing because each of those minerals in the ore costs relatively more than you would get if you bought them on market so that's the profit margin in reprocessing the ore itself yeah as a rule of thumb sort of like every stage of production that you do by yourself uh, you're basically getting like 10 or 15 percent more than what you would had somebody else done that step this is also good on for example on moon ores that are used for uh, the t2 stuff so if you have been mining on the brave moons or on your own personal moons um it's you can always sell the ore itself but you will get a bit more if you go the way and have it reprocessed by someone in the reprocessing foundry like for example alhimer or me and then you can sell the goo itself which will be valued a bit more it's always to have some it's always good to have some bit more profit on it in uh, this mainly applies when it's worth i believe about 200 million is in ore by then you will start to see some decent mar more margins on the goo itself Uh, feel free to ask around during. Uh, what's the minimum skills and implants uh, like to, like when it's worth uh, reprocessing the R yourself and when it's worth uh, buying from the market? Um, it's always um, worth more to repro reprocess or have it reprocessed. But if you want to do it yourself and buy implants, uh, it's the stage where you build caps um, if you don't build caps just have it reprocessed uh, that's the same Alhemer or me sometimes Danuk Dinkle can reprocess for you or people in impasse can reprocess most of them
Uh, most of the stuff in the moons that you find now after the reintroduction of the nerve uh, is that the, uh, the minerals that were in moon or are gone mostly uh, and uh, they reshuffle the amount of goo in each of the min of the ores that are there so um, if you moon mine in the space then um, you will very much likely sell the goo itself in the day one even several hours after you post it there are very many p2 builders right now and the doctrine stuff that we have the eagles or the munions they all use the goo and they are built in large numbers every interceptor every interdictor every hector is built from this every bomber is paid from the, based on the moon or so it's not really difficult to sell it not to mention all the modules yes um the stuff that's also sometimes forgotten is um the pi uh, you can make ton of risk doing pi so a planetary inter uh, planetary interaction stuff um it's basically free isk if you have time to click the planets and reset the lines and then go and extract those things that you built from the planets and then sell them uh the, these pi things um, are used in the t2 modules on the caps or in the ships in the implants in ammunition so there is also quite good margin there but the margin can be found mostly in the p2 or p3 level the p1 or p0 it's basically just for the lazy isk income that can be sold then where do you get the reaction formulas the blueprints to get them isaac or or someone is selling them uh the reaction formulas you buy in isaac for example in gta or these systems where it costs at the npc price not the realistic price that is higher so around gta and then have it imported to mandori in the public contract uh, because in public contract you can go away uh, with setting collaterals for i don't know say 500 million and reward for it let's say million and someone will pick it up because i don't know how the high seg works but they're strange people and i had like three billion contract moved from gta to mandori for one million so it's dirt cheap to have it moved like this and uh from mandori you can pick the brave little toaster or in the pro who can then move it to g or whatever you need in the brave space uh, one note on purchasing reaction formulas um their price ch their npc price changed uh, a couple years ago but there are still some of them on market in gita for less than the npc price so it's worthwhile to check it out there as well and compare uh one thing with the t2 production is that you need to have some uh bigger amount of isk available because all those formulas will cost you isk all you have to invent as best your own t2 bpcs so you will need to have inventing skills for it then you will need to have isk for the building of the t1 hull isk for buying the goo isk for running the reactions isk for mm, whatever else there may be so it's much more difficult to produce a t2 hull than t1 hull always easier to start with frigates and the seas but with cruisers it's more challenging let's say what skills do you need for t2 production uh it's it's very various because you have Uh, there is all 41 skills in the science section that are there most of them are combined with the production skills 
So for example, you will need industry, skill, mass production, chain supply management, and then advanced medium, advanced small ship, advanced large ship, depends which ship. Uh, then you will need, for example, electronic engineering, Caldera starship engineering, hydro, magnetic physics, stuff like that to build basic T2 components. And that's just to build them. So you will need very, very many skills. Mostly level one or level three is enough for the skills. So it's many skills, many skill books, but not that much time to train them. For example, um, we are building jump freighters with all and I, what I can say is that on my six tunes, only three tunes are doing three uh, T2 production and they are mostly level three on those stuff in the science section. But uh, concentrate mainly on the skills in the production section of skills. Uh, these ones are where the money is. Basically mass production, advanced mass production. They will add you more job slots. Uh, the supply chain management will allow you to uh, enter or start jobs on the distance. The advanced industry and industry, those are the skills, just basic skill for industry. Then there's drug manufacturing outpost construction which is for building citadels and bots um, capital ship construction which is for building caps cap parts cap hulls capital mods and all that you see as advanced in the production section that those are t2 Um, if you're even higher aspiring industrial than T2, you can go for T3. Uh, what is mostly sought after in this war is the T3Cs or T2Cs, mainly Jackdaws or Lokis. But the production in these is much, much more difficult. Oh, feel free to ask around. Um, just a question from from me. I've not done a lot, <clears throat> a lot of industry. I think I've built about two ships ever. But I was just thinking, in terms of the way I've always made my ISK, it's tended to be ratting and uh, your mic cut out. Can I still sell to Alvatis up there? Uh, yes, Alvatis is still working. You can sell to Alvatis. Um, and the buyback, the buyback closed, but the Alvatis is working. That's great, thank you. Because I can see my is going down as I'm buying more ships, and it's just if I'm deep yeah. it up, that's important. Yes, that's the problem of the war because war always eats all the wallet, and mainly if you have a more skilled pilot, you will have. I don't know, Carrier, Dreadnought, Fax, Super, Titan, then 7 or 8, mainline subcap doctrines, and then you have to have ISK for replacing all of them. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not in a, those really big things, but, you know, I'm kind of car caracal, ca uh, slash, uh, I'm a little bit of Yes. So I just want to know that I can have money, ISK coming in, as well as spending. Um, what happens during war is that uh, most of the PVE activities like retting, uh, mining, they get very um, difficult to do because the systems that we have can be camped, 
more enemies will go to our systems, there will be high risk of getting killed during the PvE. Standard orders are basically to not use capitals for the PvE during war, because you will get killed and you will get hunted actively. So, um, the best income, I guess, is the moon mining, but in subcaps here. Um, if we have like good moons, you can put a cavater on a moon, which is a T1 barge. You need to be Omega for it, but you can put a lot of isk. Uh, what I use is three cavaters or two cavaters and a boosting porpoise, and that's what I have only been using. I never owned mining oracle, for example. And this simple combination on an R64 moon, which is like Monazite or Zentine, can bring you up to 300 million per hour. My ass, could I've only ever mined um, asteroid fields in a venture, um, so that'll be a new one for me. Yes, uh, if you did that, uh, just put your venture into moon asteroids. Um, no, I'm not sure if you're in the channel for the moon mining. Uh, it's it's like, like, yeah, yeah, yes, yes it's the pink moons. So all the public moons go pink there. And uh, if you go mining and mine that ore, you will find much more profits in that than mining standard asteroids or the belts that are there in game. Unless it's what you mine, which is quite good right now, but you have to compress it actually to not warp around because Venture is very tiny. Uh, if you're not uh, alpha, then I would recommend there is very much profit to be made for mining, uh, especially moons. So if you have free skills, train from venture into barge like Gaveter and you will it's like 10 or 14 day training but uh, it will get paid several hundred times thanks that's that's good advice i'm just thinking how i'm going to be self-sufficient while i'm over here so yeah so more effort on moon mining then sounds good uh if you are into passive income you can try planetary production skills uh, usually one planet will pay you about 5 million per day in the P1 or P2. I've, yeah, ne never even looked at that. I've seen it's, I've seen it's a skill, but that's... <laughs> well, you need some starting capital and skills for it, but it pays if you have more tunes than one. If you have alts and you train them into PI, it's passive income can set the production lines for I don't know 24 hours and then just click reset and it will build up into the stock that you have set there um, you can find those uh, on the dojo page on the wiki there are videos for running PI for setting the lines for doing the basic stuff or the slack channel uh, hashtag PI so that's one of the stuff that can be made uh, things that may not be as easy as they were is um, doing the exploration now in catch. Uh, it was easy money when there were not many people around because you can take, I don't know, a heron, which is T1 Frick, cheap fit it for 1 million and then go and go around and doing the data sites or relic sites and for example the relic sites in catch which is sancha they um, sometimes drop an item called intact armor plates which is um, sometimes four million per one sometimes seven million for one and they drop it up to 20 for a can so you can make 140 million just for one site yeah, okay. and definitely be having to i think add strings to my bow as we say we're finding a few new ways of work
any other questions? No, that's felt really useful for me, certainly. I've got a quick one. Sure. So just to clarify, if I'm voting things in from HiSec, I want to focus on um, fitted up doctoring kits that I can just put on contract. Yes. OK, thank you. Um, basically, you go to the wiki page, you click the fits for the stuff we have, for example, Munins, and then you say, oh, I uh, can see that we are missing guns. Um, there is an, uh, a website, I believe it's Eve Marketer. Let me check. Just a moment. LinkedIn fit. It's Eve Market Watch. So what it does is it's um, programmed by Indebro to watch the markets of the staging that we have. Uh, it has the dog trends that are there listed and all the mods that are there. And it should show you the stocks that are there. So um if you see that there is low amount of let's say rigs for the munions then you can import the rigs and make the profit there but if you're just shooting for doing the doctrine stuff then you go to the doctrine page on wiki and basically select i don't know let's say munion and you will import basically anything that's on that page if it can be produced locally that is so helpful thank you uh, always try to watch on the market because sometimes the item isn't there but the next hour 2000 pieces of the item will be there right yeah Um, stuff that are easily sold when imported hmm. let's um, mostly rigs ship rigs for the cruisers that we have on dock trends um, ammo uh, faction ammo mostly that we have or t2 ammo but faction ammo definitely then it's the ice products um, isotopes. Uh, you import compressed ice from the high sec from GTA, have it reprocessed locally here, and then just put it on market. Guns, T2 guns. Uh, T2 guns are easier to be um, built in GE and then jumped here, but faction guns uh, or um, the meta modules for the subcaps that they are imported and there is not very much margin on them so it's always better to have more things combined into the market so you have i don't know let's say item like t2 gun that's that you bought for say one million each that you have relisted here down for two million each people will buy it but then you will have item like i don't know let's say rig for a million that you bought for one million but there you can see that the stuff here on market will cost 1.05 million so you put it there on 1.04 million so it's not much profit but it helps you moving always watch for the taxes because they eat part of your profits here as well so it's good to have the tax skills trained to maximum so you don't pay too much on taxes right, 
For most questions, you um, can find answers in Doge channel or in the public industry bros channel on Slack if you need. So I have a question on uh, Blueprint. So I've done a bit of industry in high sec and have, have Blueprints there. Uh, is it worth trying to get them here? <laughs> or is that too risky, you think? It's like I have all frigate and destroyer and cruiser hull Blueprints, for example. Or should I just try to get something here? Hmm. Um, uh, it is very much up to you. However, I would recommend having public contract of those bl blueprints with collateral and some reward uh, to a nearest big, big um, market in high sec. For example, Amar, Chita, or Perimeter, and from there to Mandori public contract and from Mandori just use Indie Bro or Brave Little Poster or just hitch someone who can do it. Uh, I believe uh, Trinity X Industry still runs um, the Interceptor uh, runs from Mandori to G, which is perfect for the blueprints, BPOs, BPCs. Yeah, because, uh, yeah. Because it's easier, maybe if I've done it before, to have the blueprints. But it's a bit risky. But it sounds like, yeah, it, it's possible, right? Uh, it's possible. Just do not do it on your brave tune, because in high sec, the brave character will get primary, as we are alliance that is war decked by the high sec um, gankers and stuff like that. So yeah, sure. it's either good to do it in NPC corp on an alt or have it publicly contracted as a courier for some small fee. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Could you link that the uh, Mandori system in chat because I didn't find it on the yes. plan? Uh, yeah, I have I have also a trading alt in Amar and a trading alt in Vita, so I'm probably able to get things there. So it is Mandori, a system. And the pickup place for the contracts uh, by Brave is the Ministry of Assessment Station. It is NPC station and it always is this station. Thanks. Um, if you're trying to solo import them from Mandori, uh, just please do not ever, ever use the Kebers head SV5 pipe. You will die uh, by simple farmers. So if you do not have the interceptor, uh, have it imported. If you have interceptor, use the route from the north, which is uh, the route via mm, Jamunda that's in curse and then use the uh, jump bridges that we have in zxic into victor 3 and you are in g one jump from there uh, try to avoid the head kebers and sv5 those will be camped always and people lost titan bpos in the system so it it will always get you down there I never do it myself. I'll contract someone. I did the Pod Express here, so I never done any solo traveling. No, so I, I'll have someone do it. Sure. Yeah, the safest way to get anything into our systems is by jump trigger. And that also means outside of the system. If you have stuff that you have accumulated. Over time, 
for example, if you are doing the 10 out of 10s, which is the advanced rating, and you have the blink mods, the dead space mods, which are very expensive, and it is not recommended to do them on the buybacks because you are losing uh, the portion of risk as buyback does cheetah buy value 95% for them and the cheetah sell value is always higher than that so you are losing like uh, sometimes even 30% of the value for the blink mods uh, and these mods if you accumulate them in GE for example then you can export them to Mandori and from Mandori to Jita and sell them in Jita for Jita sell Any other questions? If no, uh, a question: the people who make the doctor and stuff, uh, are they usually like solo or they like organized between themselves? Like, for example, let's say you do hull, uh, you do some models, you do other models, and then they somehow combine them and I don't know, share the money somehow, or or this one buys them all and sells them. Uh, it depends. There are people who have many billions and buy the stuff all by themselves because they have I don't know. Than alts that do the marketing, but if you pick one doctrine, you will find out that it has thirty or forty items on the list. So you have to basically source all the stuff or some of the stuff. So where do they usually source it? Like, do they just buy them off a market, or they I don't know? Is there uh, some page where they put up like requests, like say I need like that X amount of those modules. And then maybe someone can take them and contract with them. If it's large amount of modules, uh, it's it's mostly imported. So I don't know. Somebody says, "Oh, let's make a hundred munions." So he will go and buy uh, four hundred guns, and I don't know, uh, three hundred rigs, and stuff like that in Gita, Then have it imported here. But if it's like, let's make, uh, I don't know, five caracals, then it's built locally down here and some mods are imported or the ammo is imported, but it's mostly found on the market here. So you only need to import stuff that are not on the market and you cannot produce them locally. Um, what you should not do is relisting items if you see item in GE, for example, but you do not see it in FAT 6P, you can relist it, but only at the same price plus the cost to move it there. So if you have like, let's say, caracal for 12 million in GE, you don't see any caracal there in FAT, uh, you can relist it, for example, for 13 million, but you should not relist it for 20 million because that's no added value it's just relisting importing is basically buying it in high sec and then adding it down here or if you for example move it between regions then it's okay sort of if you go I don't know to impasse and see hmm, impasse has like 6 million of isotopes so i will buy 300,000 of those isotopes and put them on the fat market for even more because jump cost was higher or moving it was higher than one jump because impasse is i don't know three four jumps away with jump freighter
Any other questions? Cool. So if there is no other question, um, right now you can ask later in Dojo or Industry, industry Public on Slack. Or just DM me on Slack if you, you need something. Brilliant. Thanks cool. very much for that. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks.